What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're at camp, we're still on vacation. And we are in the bar room. So check it out. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. You guys are gonna wanna see this. So today's video, what am I doing you ask? I am gonna show you the gear that I wear. I am not one of these guys I had mentioned it before that goes out and buys brand new gear every year or geez, even every five years. So I wanted to show you guys what works for me, how long I've been wearing it, and maybe what my plans are after certain articles of clothing. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna roll. So what do you guys wanna do first? You wanna do the equipment or the bolt bar? Let's do the equipment and then we'll show you the bolt bar because I'm gonna do the equipment on the bolt bar and then that will leave you guys wanting a little more. So. Let's do that first, and we'll get right into it. So while we're doing that, guys, crush that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm uploading new videos. Let me know you what you think of this video in the comments below. We are going to be showcasing the gear I wear. It's pretty old. Some of it's new. Some of it's medium. <laughs> so let's get there. Let's do it. So we're going to start with my bibs. These are buttes, guys. These are buttes. I am wearing a pair of bibs called Rider's Choice. These are, I bought these at the big show in Syracuse in 2005. That's right, I'm still wearing them. These are one of the things I thought was talking about. I paid, I remember I paid $35 for these and I paid $40 for a jacket that, I don't, that isn't gonna be in this video. I still have the jacket, but it didn't have a collar on it. These bibs have been great. I literally just wear a pair of jeans under them. But for the last three years, I've been talking about getting a new pair because of this right here. You guys see the big giant hole? Yep. My backside gets pretty cold when it's cold out. They're easy to get into. The legs zip all the way up to the top. That's why I like them. I put my boots on and then zip these all the way up. Put my feet in them and then put them on. And they keep me nice and warm aside from the hole that's been there for the last three years. I've been having my eye on a pair of uh, Clint Tundras. They're brown. I like them a lot. I've just been putting off buying them. And I also found another pair called Arctic for $40. The Tundras are like two something and then the arctics are like 40. so i don't need anything impressive i just like the way the tundras look but so next we have we'll go with the jacket i am wearing motor fist this is the red line jacket all black i don't know what year i got this i know i got this jacket around 2012 pay a lot of money for it I can wear a long sleeve shirt and then a t-shirt over the top of that and then put the jacket on and I'm usually okay depending on the temperature. Again, I go by like 20 degrees so if it's below 20 then I'll put a sweatshirt over that and then put this on and I'm okay. I love this jacket. It's comfortable. I can move in it. Um, my favorite thing about it are the hands. You put your hands through the hole and then your your wrists and stuff are cut off from the air outside lots of pockets guys it's got the vents on the armpits everything's waterproof all the all the zippers are sealed and then you got a seal on the inside too to seal the snow from getting all up in your back and then this i put a hat in there like a hat like this you can fold it up and then it fits right inside there. So, but I've been wearing a winter hat lately and I keep that in the glove box of the new snowmobile. Sometimes I feel like this is gonna fall out, but it never does. And then the top pocket, we got a mat. Guys, if you're riding the hill, and you've been riding it for 20 years, 30 years, five years, two years, one year, always keep a map in your pocket, even if you have GPS. You never know when this is gonna come in handy. I've been I've been riding here for like, I wanna say almost 16 years now, and I still pull this out from time to time 
make sure I'm going in the right direction, see if there's a trail change. It's for your own safety. What if you're out there on a cold night and your GPS fails you and you just have nowhere to go? You don't want to get stuck in zero, zero degree weather, one, negative one, negative two, under 10 degrees. It gets cold fast and you don't want, then your life could be in here. You could be in a bad situation. That's my, that's my hot tip. Always have the map on you. I'll put this on for you. See how it's the thumbs coming through? And then you put your gloves over that. My favorite thing about this jacket is you can fully zip it and it zips up sideways so the zipper's not in your way. And you got all this, it's all waterproof, all airproof. And it's just comfortable, you can turn, beat up some people, drop some bows. So that's the jacket, guys. I'm going to do boots next. These are truck. I think at one time or another, our whole entire crew had a pair of these, or still does. And <laughs> these boots are waterproof, comfortable, easy in and out of, and warm. I have had these also since like 2005. I was just saying the other day the outsides are starting to wear and crack. The bottoms are getting a little old, a little, little smelly. I was just telling my dad that I would like to get a new pair of boots, if not the same pair. Because if I can get another pair of boots that last 15 years, then I am game on. I like not having to keep buying stuff, especially when it comes to shoes and boots. I like them the last, guys. So those are a truck. What do we got next? My gloves. These are another thing I need to replace. Ready? Can you see it? Let me get closer. I had a huge blister and then it turned into a blood blister, but that's from those gloves. These gloves came with the Motor Fist jacket for free. It was buy the jacket and then get a pair of gloves of your choice for free. I chose these, are like, they were like the $65 or $70 option because I don't like bulky. And these are warm. They're just, look how black the bottoms are. And then this stuff, bunch, the leather's starting to bunch up on me. That's how I got the blister in my right one. And my hands stay warm, guys. I love them. I want to buy another pair. But again, there's really no holes in these, so I don't want to press my luck. And then spend all that money, too. I'd rather put the money into the gas for, some, for the snowmobile or for the snowmobile and stuff. And that's why I like the short ones. And then with the jacket, it doesn't matter if you cover your jacket sleeve or not because of that, that liner that blocks the air from getting in. So that makes it nice so it's not over the top and all bulky. Next, baklava. It's hard for me to find a nice baklava and I found this one on Amazon. It's called Ice Rock. I like it. Look how much longer the front is from the back. And this isn't your basic like nylon material. This is actually like a cotton type. I've had this sucker for about three, three or four years now. So I can't even tell you if it's cotton, but it's, it's like t-shirt material. And what I do is I put this on. We'll do the demonstration. Pull it back a little. And then this flat covers covers the neck area. And then the back doesn't, it just covers your neck. And then so when the, when the jacket closes, it closes, I can close it nice. So with that being said, guys, this is my buy of the year. Do you know what this is for? So quick story. I cut the I cut the neck off of a turtleneck and then I'd put this on and I'd pull the turtleneck over my head and then keep it like around my mouth and above my ear. So when you're going down those straightaways and stuff and the wind's coming in, this blocks the wind and then the turtleneck would block the wind. So that started not to work for me anymore, and I lost the, the turtleneck end. I bought this guy for fishing. 
It's like seven bucks at Walmart, and it's like, look how stretchy it is. It's got the U, what is it, the UV, the UV protection. It's called Bimini Bay. And you put it on and you can wear it like 12 different ways. You could just make it so you could look out the hole and then the sun won't burn you. Well, I got the bright idea. The very first ride out this year, because I was keeping this in my jet ski for the hot days. I was like, let me try this since I lost the other one. So I put it on like this. I keep it up high, see? And then I get a little claustrophobic, so I pull it just, just below my lip, but just high enough, because you want to keep your jawbone, underneath your jawbone, kind of where your Adam's apple, you want to keep all that protected from the wind. So where we get to, where I get the frostbite the most, if I'm not careful, is here, here, and then like right around both sides of the Adam apple. So this with that jacket and then the helmet works money. So that's the best buy of the year. That's, I'll give you this, that's my second hot tip. Go buy the Bimini Bay from Walmart and use it as a over the top of your normal baklava and for your neck area. Cause I try to use like the fleece that comes with the modular helmet and I just get claustrophobic, it's too tight, the cheek squeeze too tight. So that's what I do to combat that. So let's move on. I just bought this, this is another hot buy. Runnings, $9.99. I bought my dad one for Father's Day and he said, you need to go out and get one for yourself. Put it on your wrist and then when you're the leader or you got somebody behind you, you can always put it up and see behind you. Oh, what are we down to? We're down to the helmets, guys. I wear, I have every, I have a modular one, a modular two, and then a modular three. And now I have the, this is a modular three. I've been wanting, <laughs> I bought this helmet. There was nothing wrong with the modular two, but I've been wanting a high-vis helmet, and I found this one for pretty decent on, it was like 200 bucks on eBay after they came out. But you just do this. This. And that's it. This is my other temperature gauge. So if it's Below, if it's below 20 degrees, I wear this helmet. And I will tell you that the modular three does fit better than the modular two just from experience and from having one. Um, the high vis, you could, my dad could see me quite a ways in front. And every, everybody who rides behind me, can, they say they could see me. They're like, oh, I just see your helmet bobbing through the woods. So, love it. Only under 20 degrees. Long term. I cannot stand the weight. I feel like by the end of the day, my head's like hanging. When we did the 200 miles of still water, by the end of the day, I just in this area is tight, and I just feel like my neck is neck is tight. So, when it is above 20 degrees, we got the 509 altitude with the 509 ice blue sinister goggles. I have mixed feelings about this helmet. I love wearing it because it's light, but there's also a gap and right underneath this eye, I develop moisture. I wrote the company about the helmet and about the goggles and they pretty much didn't have much to say other than if you're not sealing it right, it's not working right for you. But with that being said, I love the weight. You guys seen me in videos with this before. It's light. I can look behind me and then the goggles I mean, kind of badass guys if i bought another one i would not buy the mat because the color the paint is coming off the, when you put the goggles on it scrapes the paint off 
That's another thing I complained about, and they just said normal wear and tear. Well, I don't think a helmet should be wearing and tearing when you put a simple pair of fabric goggles on, but that's my opinion. I also wear this helmet too for four wheeling. Eventually, I'd like to get into one of these. Show guys, I'm gonna get this stuff set back up. Now I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at all this stuff. All right, ready? Last but not least, guys, the moment you might have been waiting for that you just didn't know. We, uh, our camp bar, boat bar, you know, just to kind of juice up the video a little bit, we'll show you what we did. One of my neighbors made the suggestion, you should build a bar out of that. So I started thinking about it and I told my dad about it. So next thing you know, we cut it in half, cleaned it out, cut it in half, put it in the barn, and then one day I brought the the bottom part, the bow, and two pieces in here, and then we started making a base and I'm putting it together, and it actually, it actually held up. So we bought a bunch of mahogany for the bar top. So here it is, guys. The moment you've been waiting for. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Tell us what you think in the comments below. I'll give you a quick run through of it. So like this, all the hardware, all the hardware, the light, that stuff's all original. And here we got you throw it through the hole and the cans go in the basket. Empty cans, refrigerator, cabinet, sink, cupboard, captain's chair. What do you think? The Redfield Marina, that's what we call it. And we got the TV in the back, and then the, the bell, and our snowmobile map on the wall next to it, and nice bell, map. That's a wrap guys. That's what I wear, that's the bolt bar. Let me know what you think. Is anybody else still wearing their gear from 15 years ago? I mean, if you get good gear, you shouldn't have an issue for a long, 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 long time. 
it does a trick. Every once in a while I do get cold, I'm not gonna lie. I do need to get a new pair of pants, but with the limited amount of riding this year, I definitely will be waiting until next year for my third or fourth year in a row saying I'll wait again. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for all your support. I love you guys. Peace out. We will see you next time. Show me, show me, show me.